Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm out doing some top water fishing with frogs today. It's that time of year now, it's warming up, lots of baby ducklings on the surface of the water and those pike are looking up. I've been fishing for about an hour already, um, waiting for the sunlight to come up. I find it's a little bit better when the sun actually is got a fairly decent amount of brightness on the water um, when it's really really dull in the morning I actually find I don't get too many takes I've had some action already the frog's already got some holes in it which is a really good sign obviously fishing with the Strike King KVD sexy frog today I've got it in the small size and the larger size you'll see throughout the session I'll be switching between them different colors different sizes just trying to optimize my catch rate so without further ado I'm going to crack on fingers crossed we'll put some more fish on the bank um, my setup very quickly it's a 7 to 28 gram rod um, which is not quite ideal for top water fishing. You tend to want a really stiff rod uh, and a much heavier rod to be able to set the hooks well. Um, so probably like a 20 to 50 or maybe a 30 to 90 gram rod would probably really be good for setting the hooks on pike. Problem is there's lots of small pike in my waters and they're not much fun catching them on the heavy setup. So I think I'd much rather have a lighter setup, maybe lose a couple of fish, but have so much more fun. And it's all about them top water blowers when it comes to service fishing in it. So without further ado, let's crack on. I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm really enjoying my fishing so far. We'll get some more on the bank. Yeah. I left it a second before I struck. Problem is, when I struck, because my hands are so cold, because it's like one degree this morning, but <laughs> the rod slipped between my fingers. <laughs> so essentially, it was like uh, a one year old <laughs> striking into it. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> anyway, first bit of action. Right, so I've got a little tip for you guys. It might be maybe just getting into frog fishing. Maybe it's your first time. Um, if you, when you first get your frog out of the box, out of the packet rather the hooks are actually going to be bent so that they're basically alongside the bait almost pointing towards the nose of the bait um what that means is that uh, it makes it almost 100 percent wheelers you can cast it into trees snags anything very little chance of hooking into the snags um but it means you have to really well it on the strike when you get a fish take it a little tip for anyone that's new to this is if you take your pair of pliers everyone's got a pair of pliers in the pockets generally when they look at pike fishing aren't they um and what you can do is just ever so slightly bend these hooks out. So as you can see there, the hook is no longer pointing directly along the side of the, the frog. It's actually pointing up ever so slightly. Just enough so that when you run your finger along it, you can actually catch it. Super shark hook just catching on my finger there, look. What that means is when a pike takes it, if you mess up your strike, which I do a lot, I tend to have my hand slip on the reel and all sorts, um, you can still get a half decent hook set on the pike. Obviously, if the hooks are pointing along the side of the bait, great weedless properties, but you have to really welly it on the strike. If you're fishing like the canal I am today, not too many snags. I'm not going to be wellying it into reed beds or anything. You can bend those hooks out a little bit. Sure, you might catch an odd little bit of weed, but you'll definitely increase your hook up. Right, the sun's going to be coming up soon, so let's crack on with the fishing. Big perch. Oh, damn it. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Change from the smaller frog to a slightly bigger frog, and we got a uh, Diddy Pike. That was totally crushed it. Look at that. Straight down his gullet. Hello. That's a really cute picture. <laughs> I thought he got it the first time it struck. Thankfully, I didn't strike because he hadn't got it. 
and they come straight back for it. Whoa! Quick release, I like that. I've got holes in my frog. Not sure where just yet, but there's holes in it somewhere. It sank then. I've got super glue to fix up any holes anyway. There we go, there we go. We're off on the opposite side of the canal. There we go. We got it. We got it. Absolutely crushed it. I wish it's come over from the bushes. Not a monster, but a nice fish anyway. I know from experience that it, it's normally as the sun starts coming up that the pike start feeding. Not quite when it's the dull dark morning, but a little bit later on. Absolutely leathered it. That is awesome. Spotted a half decent pike right down this margin. I've walked past him there, so I'm hoping he didn't see me. There we go. There we go. Oh, we lost it. <laughs> it's not always about catching the whip top water, it's about a thrill of a chase. He didn't take it properly. Oh, that's a big pike. Big pike. Pike, big pike, big pike. That's a real good fish, really good fish. Right in the scissor too. 
Where's my net? I've lost my net. I must have dropped it. I must have dropped my net. I've lost my net. And I've got a cracking fish on and I've got no net. Oh my God, this is a beast. I've got no net to net it. I'm going to have to take my shoes off. I'm going to have to get in the water. I've lost my net somewhere, but I'm going to really struggle to get down to land this fish. I must have dropped it. What a fish. That's probably a mid double figure pike. On the top water frog. I'm shaking. I know it's not exactly a record breaker or even a personal best, but what a fish right in the scissor as well such a perfect hook hold oh, i probably jinxed it now oh god oh, that is an awesome fish the top water frog i'm gonna have to rest it with my hand holding it under the water because i've got no net I can't stop it. What a fishing on the a light rod too, 7 to 28 gram. I don't think I'm gonna land it. If I had my net, I'd have landed it by now. I don't know where I've left it. Thankfully I bumped into some guys that I know a bit ago, so hopefully they'll give me my net back if they found it. I don't know where it it must have dropped off one time when I've had a fish and I've squatted down. I must have just dropped it in the water. Oh, it dropped it on the bank. I'm going to have to rest this fish by holding it under the chin in the water if I manage to land it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop fighting, stop fighting. God, this is the, my first time using this new setup as well. Really putting it to the test. Gotta be a mid double figure fish. Like a 15 pounder maybe. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. It's got oh we cut through the reeds. Could you wear braid on? We got it. The hook had actually come out from its mouth and repositioned itself, so I was very lucky there. That is a good pike. Oh my god. That is a huge pike. That's probably an upper upper double. What a fish on the top water frog. <laughs> probably a, a pike of about whoa, about 16 or 17 pound. Really fat, super healthy summer fish. Yeah, probably about 16 pounds, 17 pounds, something like that. Um, real, real nice one. Smash the frog and I think I got it on the main camera too, which is absolutely awesome. My legs are all soaking wet because I had to jump into net it. And I've had to hold it in the water to rest it. Let's get back in the water now to release it. What an awesome fish during the session. I was just about to go home. My missus is going to kill me for being late. <laughs> awesome. Let's get it back. What an awesome way to end this session. I think that was my biggest ever top water caught pike. Probably somewhere between 16 and 17 pound. Really nice fish. Just twitch it on that top water frog, no word of a lie. It must have been staring at it for 20 minutes on and off. I kept casting to it, twitching it. Just very, very finessing it in front of the fish's face. And eventually, bang, right square in front of the camera shot too. Awesome. If you want to check out the frogs that I've used today, I'll leave them in the description below and maybe the setup that I've used. If you liked it, don't forget to like the video. If you want to subscribe to see more, please feel free. And I'll catch you guys later.